How many times have you find yourself in a situation that you'd expect to be in? Well, the pandemic of 2020 has shown all of us, hey man, this is what life comes at you, you gotta deal with it, brace for it, and still move forward. So I'm shooting this video here from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I was asked to come here as a guest trainer and speaker at a friend of mine's business uh, meeting here called the Mastermind Alliance. And uh, we're going with some numbers, going with some figures, playing for next year, the year, year beyond. And he reminded me of the sand on the beaches of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He said, Matt, a lot of the sand here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida is a special type of sand. It's not indigenous and it's not natural to Florida. They actually had to bring some sand here from Africa, from the Sahara Desert. I said, why did they do that? I said, because the, uh, the, the, the levels, the water levels are continue to rise here in Florida and they continue to have to push property back and the absorption rate of the sand and dealing with the breaks and dealing with the, 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 the waves over the time, over the months, over the years, can only be withstood by certain sand from, from the Sahara Desert. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? How, how do we find ourselves in a position where 2020 has been a pandemic where a lot of us think about our career, our money, our business, what we're gonna do for the financial future. The same areas of security that we find ourselves in is not necessarily where we find ourselves in years past. And when you're looking at where you're at and your dreams and aspirations about how to think like a millionaire, how to strategize like a millionaire, I become like a millionaire, you're thinking to yourself, okay, so how do I still get things done? How do I get my dreams, my hopes, my desires? How do I still get it done? It's not easy. The path to a million dollars, the path to where you want to go in life, financially speaking, is not easy. I'm looking at the beaches right now, also here, it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's jammed here. People are buzzing, people are enjoying the, the sunrise, and people are enjoying fishing. People are enjoying just this morning of meditation and uh, thinking about their day and their future. And if you're sitting here, Matt, I'm watching this video, how do I still get ahead financially? Do I still have a chance to be a cash flow first generation millionaire? You gotta put yourself in a position like this sand. It never thought it'd be here, but it's here. You never thought you'd be in a situation right now, but what can you do about your scenario? What can I do about your situation? What skills, what's the silver lining that is apparent in this moment right now? What are some of the skills that you need to acquire to get above and beyond this scenario? That this is the moment where not only seeds, but growth is happening throughout this pandemic. So listen, if I wanna be that type of person in my life, I wanna create a difference. I wanna be the first person in my entire bloodline to say, you know what, we're gonna be financially free, financially independent. Well, you gotta deal with what you're dealt with here, like the sand of these beaches here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, that you didn't expect to be here, but you're making the most of it. So how do you make the most of it? What's the practicality behind it? Sometimes in a scenario where you find yourself in a position you don't want to be in, it's uncomfortable, you're scared, you're upset, you're mad, is A, what is actually on my lap? What's in my hand? What am I seeing right now that my emotions are not allowing me to see because I'm angry, I'm emotional, I'm blurry. Kind of like our lenses right now in these cameras, we had to acclimate itself to the Fort Lauderdale humidity. We're recording this video about three or four times right now because we brought our lens out here because it kept, it kept getting blurry, kept getting foggy. But you know what? We had to acclimate to the weather. We had to acclimate to the situation. We had to be patient a little bit. We had to sit the lenses out here. We had to find a solution to the problem. Instead of getting upset about the situation, what's the solution? The second part about how to still get to your plans and how millionaires think around situations. What type of relationships what type of people do I need to associate with? And I was, I was asking my friend the other day, I said, bro, because you, you, he wants to be uh, taking care of his family on a much different financial level. He kept telling me about, man, I'm gonna try to do this and I'm gonna hope to do that. And his words were very loose. His words were very loose. It wasn't very definitive. I said, bro, the, the, wor the simple words that you're using, I'm gonna try to do this this year. And if I do this, I hope to have it. You're not gonna get there. The simple things such as your words, your words of affirmations, your body and mind can tell when you're lying, even though your subconscious mind is saying other things, saying words that are loose, they're not decisive, they're not definitive. I said, bro, if you want to get to where you want to go, if you want to take care of your family, you want to bring in extra money, you want to have a plan B in case your job lays you up because of a pandemic, then you have to have words like, I need to make sure I have a plan B. I want to be in a position of financial freedom and financial latitude. I will make sure that these things down here, better yet, here's the best word, I'm gonna get it done. It's not hope so, I'm gonna try, it's, I'm gonna get it done. And the third thing, you gotta have a deadline. You gotta have urgency, you gotta have speed. Just like the sun is rising up right now, time is moving. 
Even if you choose to stand still, guess what's happening? Just like the sun is rising up right now, time will move on. And your moment of indecisiveness, your moment of saying, you know what, I can't do this, even though you can, is gonna crush you, is gonna hurt you long term. I'd rather you go right now, advance, just like the sand right now, dealing with your situation, and still say, you know what, I'm still going to learn this scenario. I may not be perfect, I may not be in a situation where I know 100% of everything, but I'm still going to learn by getting it done, finding out, failing forward, executing, okay, this didn't work, let me do it again. Execute, let me do that, it didn't work, let me do it again. That's how you're gonna learn. That's how a lot of first generation cash flow miners get it done. Like I wasn't perfect when it came to insurance. I wasn't perfect when it came to entrepreneurship. I wasn't perfect when I said, let me, let, me, let me start my marketing campaign. Let me get the word of mouth out. Let me get on the phones. But I just wanted to get better. I said, you know what, my family deserves better. And if you want to be a first generation cash flow millionaire, you got to concern yourself around all these things and make the most of the situation you're in right now, even though you're not happy with the hand that life has dealt you right now. But those that do the best, those that say, you know what, let me think bigger, let me strategize, and eventually let me become, those are the ones that find themselves a first generation cash flow millionaire. Something to be thinking about. Drop your thoughts, drop your ideas, drop your comments below. Let me know what type of situation you're finding yourself in and how you're improvising, how you're adapting, and obviously how you're going to be overcoming your current situation right now. Because this could be the year when you look back three, four years from now and you become that first generation cash flow millionaire, you're gonna say, when did I start turning my life around? When did I start having these moments of progress? When did I actually start having a breakthrough through my breakdown? And you can look back in 2020 and say, you know what, this is the year. I didn't have much, I took photos, I took pictures, I documented my journey, I documented my success, and thank God I became the person I became because I was willing to do what others weren't willing to do, and I found myself in a situation, and instead of sulking about it, instead of being mad about it, I did something about it. That being said, guys, if you've been watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like, follow our business page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notifications next time we upload our next episodes. So stay tuned to our next episode on Wednesday, where we give you a little bit more strategy and practicality of how you can be a first generation cash flow millionaire. That being said, I'm Marty Smart Guy here from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.